Okay. Did you do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, make sure that you... Oh, the phone is going to work. <laughs> yeah, from the beginning, we're going to tell you about it. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Coach Ma and Hanson with me. Yeah. So we are Ma Wellity. Uh, this is my new company. I started a few years ago. And uh, now uh, people are uh, uh, getting to uh, know more about us. And uh, since uh, we have a website, coachma.net. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we just recorded 30 minutes and the microphone wasn't working. So we're starting <laughs> this podcast again. Um, what we're talking about before was how important it is to learn weightlifting correctly once you first start. I was yeah. saying a lot of my athletes, beginner athletes that I coach the right way versus intermediate athletes um, that was coached by another person, completely different. The beginner actually has better technique and they learn much faster than the intermediate athletes who like, including myself, when I first learned, I didn't learn it properly. So before I found you, I had two other coaches, Russian and Bulgarian style. <laughs> so, um, and I had a lot of poor habits before I started training with you. I remember I met you uh, in Toronto, Canada, about six years ago or four, five, four, 20, five years ago? 2016. Yeah, 2016. a long time ago now. Yeah. So, uh, uh, well is my is my life. <laughs> yeah, long time experience. I started well when I was 12 years old. Yeah. I become a weightlifter, so I'm a training uh, at a sports school of China, and uh, become a professional athlete uh, when I was uh, 16 years old. Become an uh, Olympia when I was uh, 22. This is a long story. So, as a weightlifting coach, yeah, you have to train before as a weightlifter, real training. China weightlifting is different than other country because they are professional. My coach, Zhao Qingkui, he is one of the founder of uh, Chinese weightlifting. I learned from him from the beginning. I trained with him for more than 10 years. So uh, when I coaching athletes, and uh, so I found that everyone are different because they are come from a different background, even different uh, genetic, okay? Different uh, personality. Also, their body is different. Some people have good mobility, some people are very tight, <laughs> no, go, no mobility. And also, uh, you can see that uh, people, the, the techniques, the all kind of style. So how can I coach them? It's sometimes very difficult, right? But I use the Chinese weightlifting stand way to teach, make them uh, correct right away, and uh, learn, people uh, learn quickly. And also I can help people, especially beginner, to get this uh, techniques start to train very easy. So we lived in China uh, is one of the uh, best sport, uh, sport because uh, they are professionals. Yeah. So people are now learning all kinds of style uh, from the internet. Yeah, everyone has a phone, they can <laughs> go to the internet right away. So when I was training, I learned uh, yeah, at the beginning, when I was young, there, there's no social media, no phone, and the camera even just black and white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's hard. Sometimes uh, my coach not uh, train with, and sometimes I, I have no coach. I train by myself with a mirror. That is my coach. <laughs> I start uh, like this. It's difficult uh, to get a good technique at the beginning, even me. But uh, I train, I follow the Chinese way living system, use the standard techniques. Then I make it improve right away, very quick. So since I have, a, when I have a, a, a coach, like a, when I become a, a professional and uh, I have a coach, uh, they have a, uh, my coach has a lot of experience, uh, how he know how to coach. I learn from him very quick. So, so there's, I, you gotta be, really qualified to be a coach in China. Like what, what is it compared to the, the Chinese coaches to American coaches? And uh, as a weightlifting coach in China, you have to uh, train as some high level athletes. So uh, such as uh, I teach, uh, I coach in Li Ping, Sun Li Ping and other some uh, high level athletes. They are world champion, world record holder. So I get as a coach certificate. And also uh, I 
I got a uh, some uh, certificate course. I went. We need to get that uh, course to learn once a year. All the Chinese coach they have a they have a, like a, a, a yearly uh, test. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the school, uh, go to that class, take a take a study, a study, then get a test, then they they upgrade. Recertification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recertification. Yeah, I have a certificate somewhere there. <laughs> so, as a coach, uh, you also uh, make sure you focus your techniques, uh, teaching. Okay, you have to study, continue study. We live in live end, so ninety eighties. Right now, oh, they are different. You know, mm. usually we train uh, the style like a European, but now we focus on our own system, Chinese way system. So uh, people ask, me, "Why, well, Coach Ma? What is the difference uh, between the style between U.S., China, or European?" Chinese way lifting techniques we always focus about uh, by mechanic the techniques. We always try to make our movement shortcut, smoothly and uh, reasonable at least, right? And uh, I saw the European style a little bit different than Chinese style. I can't say anything like that, but I uh, can't say bad, but uh, they also work. But if, uh, if in my opinion, I recommend you to use the Chinese weightlifting because uh, the techniques uh, even in my mind is uh, right. reasonable. It's, there's a standard to it. There's a there's system. Standard. There's a yeah. system. So uh, yeah. people ask me what is the difference. So Chinese weightlifting uh, techniques, we always recommend the five words. You have to keep a bar close. Okay, that's the first word. You have to get a uh, second pull very fast. The second word, fast. Third word, you have to squat deep. Okay, low, we call it low. You must be get a good timing, the number four words. Timing. Last word is a uh, stable. You have to get a bar very good balance so you can stable, five words. So, not only that, we also need to understand that uh, what is the gravity principle for the movement. So people are always thinking about snatch or clean, make a very high pull, but they forgot how can get a under the barbell right away. They get a catch. So equal magnitude. This is the first uh, uh, gravity principle. First one. Second word. Second sentence is opposite direction. You need up. You need down. But the same time. Simultaneous, okay. So we need uh, this uh, principle uh, for your reference that you understand. So then you get a, uh, you can the, you can get a, the direction. You know the direction, and the people never know this is hard. They have no direction. They don't know. Mm -hmm. They like you. I saw you at the beginning, pull too high, <laughs> then cross, and the change the balance. You know, mm -hmm. everyone has their issue. But uh, some people have big issues, some people have small issues, depending. You know? I always coaching people without any excuse. No excuse. Good is good, bad is bad. One is one, two is two. Right? So that way help athletes to understand so that they know what is wrong. Mm -hmm. So as a coach, we need to try to find the, uh, the solution. We have to study what is the reason. What is the solution to help the athlete to, uh, to avoid the weakness, okay? To uh, fix their weak, uh, weakness. Some people lose like a, not a good techniques, but actually it's not. They are, they have a uh, issue with the mobility. The mobility influences their techniques quality. So some people, uh, they have a, a bad mobility. If you improve your mobility, for sure your quality will be changed, will be getting better, yes. People always uh, thinking up, uh, going up, make a mm -hmm. barbell very high. So, so because of the mobility is the problem. They kind of squat deep. Yeah, at the competition when I watch, uh, looks like everyone doing power snatch competition. Yeah. Yeah. Some people have no uh, direction. They make a helicopter style for. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I teach people because uh, I, w I want to teach people the correct one. Okay, so my coaching experience, a lot of like, you know, people who are starting out um, later in life, in their late 20s, they're, they're already stiff, or especially if they're powerlifting or bodybuilding before. Mm. So they, their mobility 
isn't there immediately. Yeah. Um, what I do is I do all a, a lot of the power movements to get them start uh, lifting correctly, mm. and then it's eventually work on their mobility to slowly get them to cash deeper and deeper. What what about your approach when you're having you know doing these seminars and you have athletes with no mobility? How do you account for that? So many people come from a different sport, the background. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I like the people who have done the gymnastic. <laughs> yeah, they have a very good uh, uh, mobility, and also they have a good uh, coordination. Yeah, if if you uh, don't have a good co coordination, no mobility, uh, the movement is hard to make the good one. So, and uh, I recommend and uh, to focus your uh, quality. The technical quality must be uh, combining with you train for your mobility or like a coordination. The, the people when I teach at the seminar, they come from a different uh, background. I see some people middle age, yeah. master. <laughs> yes, it looks like a, I mentioned a joke, like a used car. <laughs> used it's not car. brand new. Yeah. yeah. If people level down with lifting, they come to me train and uh, like a very fresh, yeah. Like white paper, easy to draw. Mm -hmm. So a lot of lot day a lot of people uh train earlier, which is good. And uh, I recommend do not rush to teach the younger athletes. Take time so so that they, they can stay injury free. The most important is that to help them to get a good muscle memory about yeah. the techniques. I think um, in the United States, well at least compared to Canada, there's much more kids who are lifting in like middle school or oh, middle school middle school yeah, yeah, yeah they started start, that that time. yeah they start learning how to squat deadlift yeah. and bench when they're when they're around that age in yeah. their in their gym class yeah i never had that another famous uh, uh little girl the rory rory uh, yeah I'm coaching her in toronto canada so she's a uh, one influence a lot of kids mm -hmm. now uh people uh, yeah i see that everywhere yeah they have uh, some kids like uh, her age yeah, nine or ten around the yeah. start. So as a younger kids, as a coach need to take care about them. Yeah, need to focus about their uh, technical quality. So, and uh, Rory is a gymnast. Uh, he she done that before. She has a very good mobility. She has a very good coordination. Uh, easy to train, mm -hmm. easy to coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I coaching her, oh, she is very smart. She learn quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That day she make a PR, a personal best. So I was, uh, yeah, I was so excited to coaching her. And uh, now uh, when I go somewhere, I also see some uh, young kids to train with me. Uh, the the parents want to support, want to learn from Rory, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to uh, coach my can help my kids to uh, get a good techniques. Yeah. Yeah. They want to become a big star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. As a as a coach, and uh, we train not only the for young kids, we also train some uh, people who have experience, but not good uh, techniques. Those those people like a master, they have a lot of uh, uh, bad habits, like mm -hmm. a <laughs> muscle memory. But use a stand away, Chinese way even techniques, so they will make a lot of easier to get something changed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I. I Especially for kids, they gotta learn the right way, you know, because like a lot of um, coaches, especially for kids that they don't know how to do themselves properly and they're gonna teach the wrong things. Like when I first started lifting, I remember seeing this personal trainer teach their client to clean and he was a bodybuilder, so he knew nothing about weightlifting. And he's just saying, Yeah, you would deadlift the weight first and then use bicep curl to get the <laughs> okay. weight up. Right, mm. and I'm like, that's that's scary. If you're having a kid, if you're teaching the kid the wrong way, and you're adding weight on it, then they might get injured. Right? Uh, yeah. So, so many uh, uh, such things as uh, around the world, people teach uh, the uh, the coach uh, not a is not real weightlifters. People they level it down the weightlifting mm -hmm. uh, like a uh, uh, professional athletes. <clears throat> so it's, uh, they just learn from the internet, then become yeah. a coach. Become a coach in the U.S. or even maybe Canada is easy, right? Mm -hmm. You pay, you, you get it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you get the certification. But in China, it's difficult. It's difficult. You have to get a. You have to have trained before the athletes have a, a high level. Mm -hmm. You get a get a certificate. Yeah. 
you have to pass the exam. Mm -hmm. You have to get a, a degree from mm -hmm. a college. Yeah, you have to uh, uh, speak English if you become a high level coach. Right. Yeah, you have tests. Well, I think that's the difference in China is becoming a coach is a profession. Yeah, profession. Right. Mm. And in in here, it's more of a hobby. Yeah, that's right? for hobby for yeah. Yeah. People has a lot of passion enthusiasm yeah. to train. They just do for for fun. But what if in China is like do for professional? That, that is their yeah. job. Yeah. yeah like uh, uh, when I uh, become a coach, I be become a weightlifter. I was a sixteen years old. That's my job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a pay. <laughs> so as a coach now, I have a lot of uh, uh, learning. I have a lot of things to learning because uh, we kind of end. So everyone have their own issue. You have to study. What is the reason? How can mm -hmm. find a solution to coaching them? Because everyone different. The program for everybody, you can use a one. Yeah. You have to individually difference. You follow that. Yeah. Follow their situation. Some people have a injury before shoulder, knee, or back, so you have to take care of them. The program help the athletes to make a good practice, good training. Mm -hmm. If your program wrong, and uh, so it will be different. Mm -hmm. So make sure uh, as a coach, follow this athlete situation. And uh, also athletes need to uh, uh, work closely with the coach. Mm -hmm. Good feedback to the coach, so that coach will take care of you very easily. And the uh, coach always uh, to remind athletes, and uh, when they get time to for light training, for recovery, you can train heavy all the time. You have to train like this way. Heavy, heavy like this, mm -hmm. then improve like this. So you can't train heavy all the time, then crush, then they get an injury. So right. training follow the situation, follow combining with the recovery. Okay. Then in China, you can see athletes, they train always uh, combining with the recovery. So they take a sauna, mm -hmm. you know, ice, ice top, hot top, massage, stretching, listen music, and uh, or even uh, thinking about happy things. So. You can train heavy then without any other um, recovery acti uh, activity. It's different. Mm -hmm. You have to uh, focus. How can you use the recovery method to get the body recovery quickly? Right. So, so long time ago when I was in China, I training there. Normally we we have a light training for one week. Yeah. But now, boom, 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 three days. Right. They save time now. They don't. They don't need to wait until the next week. Next week, they can train a heavy. Start over again for heavy, just a three days, four days, make a recovery. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of support. So uh, I would say, people train must be combining uh, with their own situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes the coach give you training the program, maybe not reasonable. Just tell coach, coach, I can't do this. Okay, because you know your situation. Right. You know what you feel. Yeah. You Coach doesn't trust. know anything about uh, how many hours you train, how many hours you eat, uh, you you sleep, and uh, yeah, how many uh, what kind of a protein or food you eat. So, coach maybe don't know, but uh, you for you if you, uh, give uh, the coach a feedback uh, directly quickly. Yeah. Then the coach will take up you uh, very easy. In China, athletes. The professional athletes always write a diary. Mm -hmm. Every night, they su submit to the coach. The coach then read it, then get the information from you. Then the next day, they take care of you and uh, coaching you uh, with the with the direction. They know how to do it. The coach will because I understand mm -hmm. you, you have a feedback. You no, know? so sometimes we can avoid injury. But injury for athletes. Looks like normal. Yeah, right? yeah, it's Everyone part of the game. A, yeah, yeah. Especially if you go heavy, mm -hmm. right? We can say we can do a real heavy max out without any injury. It's 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 difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My story like that. I have a lot of injury before, you know, because I trained so hard. <laughs> the crazy training. Yeah. yeah, top five. We sometimes we train at the same platform. Yeah, like a competition every day. 
Oh wow! Challenge. So you you and the top five athletes, yeah, in the China would be yeah. sharing one platform. Level. So you'd be coach one coach. Okay, twenty one. <laughs> are, are they in the same weight category? We're same, same, same weight, weight category. category. Yeah, about top, the top five. Three, top five. Yeah. On the same platform to same see who can lift more. Sometime, uh, okay, <laughs> two platform here. Okay? Yeah. We watch each other. Right. Yeah. Right. Two or three here, two or three there. We competition like that. So it's difficult, and uh, if you. Lazy, someone will beat you. Mm. If you injury, someone will beat you too, mm -hmm. right? So we have to focus our training. Our own training must be uh, good training, mm -hmm. good techniques, avoid injury, good recovery to help uh, right. my uh, my body. Yeah, make fresh to be for the next day. So my muscle quality is different than other people. I'm so tight. I was <laughs> tight. Yeah, we're from a genetic. I do a lot of massage. I do sometimes uh, twice a day, massage. So when you were training as an athlete in China, national team, national team, they would yeah. I have a I have a five a massager. Five I, masseuse. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. A staff to hey come to massage me back. <laughs> so right. they have to go work for right. me because this is their job. Yeah, yeah. Let them to massage me. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, they use a a board <laughs> like this. Yeah. Sometimes not enough. They are so hurt. <laughs> they use a they make a wood. Uh, how can the tour? They use a wood one. Wood, wood, wood. The wood, like a, like yeah, a, metal, like a uh, wood, uh, wood stick or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, like a tour that use for my bag. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you use like a, like a acupuncture. Like yeah. <laughs> so Chinese medicine, sports medicine, you also help as for recovery. Right. Such as the cupping. Right. Acupuncture. Yep. The help. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, some muscle, uh, uh, very tight. Mm -hmm. They use a needle. Needle, use the stimulation. How good? Uh, Steam. electro, uh, electro. Yeah, something, yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, people use it nowadays too. Yeah. So well, my my question would be, I think a lot of people who are weightlifting, you know, they're working a full time job and they don't have the recovery methods. They don't have a masseuse that yeah. they they have on call, um, and they're working most of the time. So they're training probably after work. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? How much recovery work, um, compared to l actual lifting? What's the ratio should someone do? Depending how heavy you, you you did today, how uh how fatigue you have, you know some people are too tired. Okay, mm -hmm. they need to go to sauna, some more sauna, then get a, a muscle loose first, then massage it easily. If you without a sauna, maybe your too your muscle too tight. Yeah. So normally, a uh, hot tub, uh, sauna, will have athletes to get the muscles loose quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, then massage will be perfect if you after yeah. uh, massage after, after the, the sauna. sauna yeah. uh, they use the oil to <laughs> get the muscle uh, work, and the uh, next day you will f you feel uh, uh, fresh. Mm -hmm. Then have a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So the recovery to help you to build any en uh, energy, also confidence. Mm -hmm. The reason that once you have a lot of energy, you always have good confidence. If your your fatigue is still there, your 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 passion will be a little bit lower. Right. Uh, well, yeah. Right. Your uh, how can that the confidence also will be different. Like a adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Your adrenaline. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Your engagement level. Yeah, I don't know if you understand. The English is my second language. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, People go to the competition. They also, uh, as a coach, we also need to help athletes to build the, build the passion. Yeah. Build the confidence. How would they? How we can build that? The, in my own mind, in my opinion, I say uh, uh, we're thinking that uh, we need to get uh, our athletes get a good techniques first. Okay. Once they make a good movement, techniques good, no miss. That is where to build the confidence. Mm -hmm. Even they always miss. Even the, even the eighty percent, ninety percent under, they always miss. They go to competition hundred percent is impossible, right? It's mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. Once you, once your, let's say first attempt, you can make a, at the at the training, training session you can train five sets, or some people even ten sets. No miss, for sure you have a lot of confidence. No no trouble. At the competition, you know you can do this. Mm -hmm. But the opener, at the training, you always miss. 
how you can go to the competition is difficult because you always stress. Mm -hmm. Oh, I always like recall. Oh, I done this, but I didn't make it to the training. If you train before this, no miss. So you mm -hmm. got you got a confidence for sure. So we always try to build our athletes, not only the techniques, but we also need to build them everything, mm -hmm. including the confidence. Because uh, our goal is to prepare for competition. If, if someone prepare for that. So there's a huge mental aspect to coaching and developing an athlete. Then there is just technique. Yeah. Right. So what would you say coaching is technique, uh, men mentality? So as a weight team, uh, we always uh, coaching people not only uh, the, the strength. Strength, strength has three. Mm -hmm. Absolutely strength. Absolute strength. Such as, strength. Such as deadlift, squat, the press, something like that. Mm -hmm. The speed strength is our key. Speed strength. We are the speed strength sport. Weightlifting, not like powerlifting. They mm -hmm. can do it slowly. Bench slowly is fine. But weightlifting, you have to make a speed. We also need the endurance. Once you get a catch for the clean, for example, you have to up. If you, are, you, if you have no endurance, you probably give up. You're right. You, yeah, endurance will help you uh, for the <laughs> movement. Uh, some people, after snatch at this competition, they exhausted because the endurance problem. Yeah. Can you no power, no energy? So we need to focus not only absolute strength, speed strength, and also we need endurance. Endurance. Not only these three uh, strengths, but we also need a coordination. Coordination. Yeah. Okay. People look at the strong, such as many uh, bodybuilders, body power yeah. <laughs> Look at the muscle <laughs> like a. Yeah, my hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they are so slow. Slow. No coordination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are so tight because they they're, they're training too many reps, too many yeah. bench. Because they yeah. do like isometric. Yeah, they're just they're, or not isometric, isolation. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, isolation. The muscle memory different. Yeah. Muscle. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Lot of reps. Mm -hmm. But what if they, we don't need uh, too many reps? We just mm -hmm. boom. <laughs> yeah. Combination just one. Just one. Okay, and. Uh, not only coordination, mobility. mobility. I just mentioned that. Yeah. It's also important to support your technique. If you have a good mobility, good coordination, good strength, well, almost everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I also uh, remember that a uh, long time ago, I when I was coaching in China, I selected two athletes for the test to prepare for them to become a professional. Okay. Two athletes. One is a super strong, one is a skinny, mm -hmm. not strong, but a good coordinate, a good good coordination. Right. Mobility is perfect, but this one, super strong, mobility is okay, but uh, no coordination. So eventually, I pick this one with a good coordination. Even her uh, technique is not good, but uh, even the strength is not good. Strength is not that great. But I pick this one. Mm. Li Ping, mm -hmm. I talk about Li Ping. Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah. he's a big star athlete, and uh, she holds hold a world record, mm -hmm. fifty three kilo calorie. I coaching her when I when she was a uh, uh, thirteen years old. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Before I come to US, yeah. After a few years, he become a national player, become a world champion, world record holder. Mm -hmm. So this kids, I when I select, I see. She has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Some this this lady, this yeah. girl, yeah, super strong already. Yeah, <laughs> but no coordination. It, it's the same, very similar in jujitsu too, because yeah, a yeah. lot of big guys they join and they think they can smash. They smash. Mm -hmm. So when they're learning technique, they're not really, literally using it. They're not literally learning it. They just use their size, right? Mm -hmm. So they're kind of dumb in that way. But if you learn the technique, you have someone small and skinny that they actually use their brain. They start learning a lot more than if yeah. they have absolute strength. The kids, when they want to become a professional, that is their job. They can, they, they can become a professional. Yeah. They can make a, make money to, to support the, the, themselves, right. support the family. Wait, so, 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 so just now I mentioned about two athletes. Yeah. This athlete, Li Ping, I pick her, uh, select her become a, a athlete. The other one, I let her go home. Oh. But she, <laughs> she come to other team. Okay. 
different for team. another test. Okay. So the other team eventually also didn't. They didn't like her? Yeah, because oh, uh, no. they test many times, they find, oh, not work. Oh. Super strong, but not work. Yeah, because uh, now you can imagine that uh, power lifter is power lifter. Weight lifter is weight lifter. Different. Right. Weight lifter can do power lifting mm -hmm. very easy. Mm -hmm. But a uh, power lifter is not easy to become a weight lifter. Yeah. Because the uh, mobility different, change. Right. <laughs> Coordination maybe not good. Mm -hmm. So when you think kind of like a, everything, if you train. Right. It's very versatile. Yeah. It applies Nowadays, to a lot of different sports. A lot of uh, uh, crossfitter now uh, just do well uh, yeah. I can I can imagine that uh, they they make a good choice. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> everything is every every well is uh, kind of like everything. Yeah. You train your coordination. Yeah. Uh mobility. Yep. Strength, not only is absolute strength, speed strength, yeah, endurance. I think the difference between CrossFit and weightlifting is CrossFit is exercising, so it's not a specific sport you're training towards. Is it for more for uh, audio? Yeah, yeah, it's for uh, like uh, just conditioning, conditioning, right? Yeah, strength conditioning, but. Weightlifting is training. It's sport specific. There's technique. It's technical, and with the, combining with the strength. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're training with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Whereas CrossFit or exercise, you're training for conditioning. Mm -hmm. I think those two are the two differences. And I think like a lot of CrossFit people who switch from CrossFit to weightlifting, you know, enjoys the technicality of the sport more. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know, and there's nothing you know, not saying anything bad to CrossFit. Because they have an excellent community and they're pushing each other beyond ba the boundaries. Agreed. Yeah, so it's actually really good for their personal development. CrossFit exercise, the support of weightlifting. Yeah, uh, yeah. The foundation, as I mentioned, that uh, we need uh, all kinds of training, such as physical, like, mm -hmm. uh, fitness. Uh, we need to jump. We need to speed. So we need to running. Mm -hmm. So the weightlifter can be can do anything. Yeah, we we need. Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah they can do everything. When I was young, like uh, I started weightlifting, uh, twelve years old. From that year, I do morning exercise almost a uh, every day. Yeah, yeah, except for Sunday. Okay, but uh, <laughs> every morning, yeah. five thirty, get up, train with the team. A lot of running. Mm -hmm. The the track and the field, four hundred meters, five laps first. Wow. After that, make uh, some sprint. Mm -hmm. Another ten sets, then another ten sets of jump, mm -hmm. then do some uh, uh, coordination training such as a handstand work, yeah, uh, some uh, uh, mobility training, and sometimes we use a PVC or even just a bar work for techniques. Mm -hmm. So when I start that time, our purpose is to build foundation. Mm -hmm. Not only the physically, we need also for the techniques. Yeah. Okay. Once I have some foundation, I feel that my improvement very quickly, very, mm -hmm. <laughs> very yeah, quick. So, uh, as a weightlifters, uh, we also need to take care about ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure we need a good recovery. Training heavy, we need it, but we also need a light training for recovery. Mm -hmm. And we come together. Yeah, this is your program. So I think a lot of weightlifters would not like hearing this, that you have to do cardio for conditioning. You have to do accessories like bodybuilding and mobility work mm. and just like small muscle groups. Um, it feels like, you know, extra home. Everybody wants to lift heavy. Everybody wants I, to lift heavy, right? I'll tell you uh, uh, about almost 15 years ago when I coaching as a head coach for university national team yeah. in the US, My one of my assistant coach, he, she doesn't understand. Why you let the athletes run? I said, they need to run. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. They need to run. Yeah. They need to make a uh, conditioning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Body composition. Mm -hmm. They need a quality. Mm -hmm. So I let them jump, let them climb the stairs, mm -hmm. like a, how call that? Stairs. Body carry or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of a coordination training for the, for the athletes and also the physical training. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Eventually, I see the athletes, everyone, lot of passion because their body is light now. They, mm -hmm. they can do everything. Before, they 
they're always heavy. Yeah, because uh, your body uh, not activate like that. Right. Okay? Right. So, athletes, we need to train everything. We need to train heavy. If you never touch heavy, the heavy always heavy. Yeah. yeah so, this is my mind. So, I always remind athletes heavy training, we, heavy week must be heavy, but uh, for sure, it's not uh, everyday heavy. But mm -hmm. follow your situation. But we, our goal is touch heavy. We need uh, at least once a week, at least. For example, China, every Friday, Around like a lot of these day, people do max out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we not max out every day, but uh, Friday, usually we do heavy, and uh, Thursday, one day before, depending on recovery. Some people even just do ping pong. Mm -hmm. Some people just do massage. Some people just do light training. Individual difference. You see Lu Xiaojun at the national team that she, he do some ping pong, right? You see yeah. the video that day. For recovery, that is a perfect time to rest. Perfect time to build your passion, energy, prepare for t tomorrow, mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. So the training, I just mentioned that intensity is the key. If you level do a high intensity training, so your you, your body not get used to it. When you go to competition, I just mentioned your confidence will be different. Mm -hmm. If you touch the heavy. For example, ninety percent, ninety five percent, still good, nothing issue. Mm -hmm. So for sure, you have a lot of confidence. People mm -hmm. are always happy with the quality if you train like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you make a heavy, bad quality, an injury, then trouble, then competition, a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, recovery not only we use the massage. Okay, hot top, we need the ice top. And we also need the stretching. And uh, when I was a young, uh, my uh, team, uh, team, team doctor, mm -hmm. he is a sports, med uh, sports medicine people, right? And uh, she, he worked for the one of the hospitals that have some scientists that recommend a weightlifter use the ice to cool down the testicle. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, people never know this. Yeah, when when, when my team doctor taught me a. Hey, Couple of people in my team, we are the the person to the do this. You're the study. Yeah, I'm study. Stu study. Yeah, study. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in Beijing, uh, when I uh, use that the ice, sometimes uh, we have no ice machine, but Beijing uh, winter time. Winter, there, yeah. There's the the, the water too cold. Yeah, we just <laughs> use the cold water yeah. for ten minutes. <laughs> so helps us uh, a lot because uh, the test score if you cool down two percent. You will automatically produce your hormone, mm. yeah, or mm. natural hormone. Okay, then your training energy will be different. Mm -hmm. If you get a fatigue, nothing uh, recovery method you do, so you just sleep not enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, for sure, sleep is important too. You need uh, at least uh, seven or eight hours. Sleep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So just like a phone, right? Yeah, just like a phone battery charge. If your phone charge one hundred percent the whole day, so you can use. Yeah. If your body weight, a uh, body uh, fatigue, you know, no recovery, just like a charge fifty percent. The next day still fatigue. Mm -hmm. So make sure fix your issue like your uh, your recovery. Or if your knee or your back or shoulder not comfortable. Yeah. Try to take care of that. Yeah, I think more and more people are becoming more aware of their recovery, um, especially like podcasters um, like Andrew Huberman he talks a lot about like proper recovery breathing um, ice baths um, saunas so uh, ice bath is good and yeah. uh, when the muscle uh, tight with the coat yeah then how to switch the with the yeah, hot contrast Co yeah contrast yeah, yeah. you have a su such a, a work and uh, make your muscle quality better. You mm -hmm. have muscle, you have a spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, if your muscle too tight all the time, your fatigue there. The, I don't know one of the words, I, I don't know how to talk in English. Lu Lu Shuan. And what, what do you call it? Jelly? Lu Shuan. The, the inside of the muscle. Lu Shuan. I don't know. Uh, maybe Ela I can elasticity? Take... I don't muscle know. Muscle fiber? Fascia? I don't know uh, how to call it, but I can. Uh, Lu Shuan, if you are Chinese, maybe you understand. Lu Shuan Ji Lei, 就是疲劳的开始. 
you fatigue because of that, that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Lu Shuan, chili. So, uh, athletes need to focus about not only uh, like a massage, a sauna, hot tub, uh, ice tub. We also need the nutritious. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Glucose. Professional athletes in China, they have a good food, like a buff, like a like a Christmas every day. Right? Yeah. So, I mean the China camp. The China camp yeah, you has the it. you're eating at the training hall. Oh well, yeah. I've yeah. been to one of them. Oh my <laughs> gosh, the food is phenomenal. Yeah. It's not like it's even better than the restaurant food because it's clean. It's it's meant Everything. for athletes. Uh, because uh now they uh restaurant food is not a uh, okay. safe, not, yeah, safe, not, not safe. safe. Especially in China. Yeah, especially yeah, in yeah. China. But uh not only in China, in the US as well. Mm. Why is the chicken at the Walmart <laughs> so big? Yeah. The Organic chicken are always smaller, right? Yeah. But now it's big. Take steroids. Every, yeah, everyone, every time I go there, I, I hate that. I say, hey. I know. Because I, my my mom, uh, my, my dad come from the country. Mm -hmm. I've been to uh, his uh, family before. Yeah. I see the, the chicken only this much. But uh, in the US, the chicken is big. <laughs> like a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> So it's not reasonable. This is not an organic one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I came, like I moved to, Can I moved from Canada like almost two years ago, mm. and when I came here, I love McDonald's chicken nuggets. <laughs> I love the chicken nuggets in Canada. Okay. When I came here, I got the chicken nuggets in America. I'm like, Puh, this is horrible chicken. <laughs> I go to Costco, I buy chicken too, and it's just really, really bad. Mm. I'm like, what's the difference? I think they have stricter regulations in Canada. So the chicken quality there is, is much better. Mm. Here they just eat steroids all the time and they get giant, giant also breasts. Also fry, fry now. So uh, people are also uh, cutting weight, mm -hmm. especially the lightweight class, they are the cutting weight. I recommend people don't cut in too long, too much. Too much. Yeah. If uh, under three kilo, would be perfect. Mm. Okay. okay. You can cut. If more than three kilo, is depending, uh, you know, if you can go to the and that's the category, so you cut in, let's say five, five kilos, so okay. Okay. Five when kilos. I was an athlete, I cut in too much. Five kilos every time. Last of three days before competition, no food. What? Yeah, too tough. That's stupid. Yeah, but uh, no, you have to. I can't, can't eat anything. But then you won't <laughs> have energy to lift. I have energy because of all here. Oh, crazy. Overcome. Yeah. yeah. My mouth very thirsty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I drink water. It's not real drink. Right. Just a brush. You, you spit it out. <laughs> you're real. cutting water. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but we use uh, uh vitamins. Mm -hmm. We just use some vitamin, uh, protein powder, some little bit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, ATP. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I cut I cut ten pounds before, so that's like mm. four kilos. Even that, I'm still doing sauna. Yeah, sauna. Yeah. Sauna. And uh, the cutting weight also have a skill. Well, I remember I went the nationals uh, in China Olympic trials mm -hmm. before I go to the Olympics. I was number one in China. That day, I cut in about more than five kilos. Uh, before uh, I cut in, I run a one one week or ten days before I start little by little. Mm -hmm. Last three days, no food. I still go sauna every day. Still train. I try to make up my weight exactly. I was sixty seven, mm -hmm. sixty seven and a half kilo. Make uh, eventually the commendation uh, weight the uh, must scale my weight. Oh, exactly. Wow, the referee is <laughs> surprised. Oh, you make a perfect uh, cutting, just exactly. Right. I don't need to cut anymore. I don't just cut exactly right. there. So this is a uh, experience. If you cutting weight, try to cut exactly you need. Okay. Don't cut too much. What is a what is the protocol like when you were training at Lindenwood when your athlete has to cut weight? What do you, you recommend that they follow to meet the weight? So, uh, Linda one is actually is, is a, a, a college student, right? So they, they, they have some people need to cut weight. I always recommend them watch the body weight, at least depending how heavy. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you, if that someone who already have a three or four kilo before the competition, you need to cut around 10 days before, little by little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, in China, uh, the professional athletes they have experience. They cut weight very fast. Okay. So they weigh until depending how heavy. If they're four kilo, they weigh until last four days. Mm -hmm. Cut 
quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So when they cut quickly, the energy loss a little bit uh, uh, different. Different. Yeah. If we cut it too long, they also feel different. So uh, dip, individual different. Some people okay. happy is that they can cut quickly. Some people they need a little by little. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I have my team met a long time ago when we uh, when we uh, compete for a World Cup in Bulgaria. He's a fifty two category, but his body weight is more than sixty. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So he cut like almost he's, ten kilos. He's a short guy. Yeah. No, it's about seven kilos. Seven kilos. Yeah. 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 So. We were in the same room. He's my roommate. So midnight, I couldn't find him. Where is he? He crashed to down downstairs, uh, down from bed, fall down to the ground. Wow. So midnight, I wake up. I see, hey, where is him? Look, he on the, <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> is, uh, are you okay? He he, I wake him now. He's exhausted. Yeah, he's exhausted. Yeah. He passed out. Wow. Like too too hot too hot to try. Wow. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. His face, like a, like a, like a yellow one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then I remember uh, I have a, a the Korean team, South Korean. They mm -hmm. gave me some uh, fresh ginseng. I open his mouth, put it on one chin. <laughs> <laughs> the way he came out, he know I help him. He said, thank you. He kind of talk. <laughs> yeah. So he overcome. Yeah. Even, eventually he cut that. Yeah. So next day, he became a world champion. Wow. He's super strong. Crazy. Yeah. He make a world champion. He, he, he is so strong. Because uh, cutting weight is also need a method, good method. Mm -hmm. He know how to cut. And uh, yeah, maybe you have to cut uh, reasonably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, weightlifting, weightlifting is not easy, I mentioned. And uh, weightlifter always need to overcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah, I just mentioned that. Uh, not a heavy if a level touch a heavy you the heavy always heavy yeah so but we also need to uh, get a light training sometime to prepare for the heavy one mm -hmm. to get a recovery first mm -hmm. so and also uh here is two shoes here one second one second okay one second let me uh, make sure everything's recording properly